Hi everyone. So in this video, I will discuss about how to prepare data structures. If you are a completely beginner, if you are a uh, if you are a college student, or you want to switch job from service-based company to the product-based company, and you are new to the data structure algorithm world, you want to start how to start. What are the things I I need to prepare first? Because if you will not have the proper planning, if you will not have the proper we how to start then things will be very difficult for you so do not worry about that i will make sure i will make it very easy for you to how to start and how to prepare data structure for the beginners and this video will be very useful for the college students as well who are who are looking for a job in the software industry in the it field in the future so let's start now the first thing is what is data structure okay what are the things which are coming to your mind or what are the important topics you need to think about along with the uh, plan i will explain you some of the things in the data structure so that it will be easy for you and in the future video i will cover a lot of stuff about that do not worry so first thing you need to understand is what is the basic data structure what is data structure? The first question which should come to your mind is, hey, what is data structure? So data structure is nothing but a way of organizing the data, is a way of storing the data such that we can access the data, we can modify the data in best possible way. This is the simplest definition I can say. If you will search about this on the Wikipedia, you will see the, see the definition as, in computer science, a data structure is a data organization, management and storage format that enables efficient access and modification. More precisely, a data structure is a collection of data values and the relationship among the data and the functions or the operations that can be applied to the data. All right. So you will say, hey, what is data? Data is nothing but, let's say we have, let me take one example. Okay, we have one student class. We have, let's say, eight students in the class. You want to store the age of those eight students in the data. So age of all those students is nothing but the data for us. Now, how to store the data? Okay, now we need to store the data into database, right? Now, how to store it? What are the things we need to take care what is the best possible data structure I can use so that I can efficiently access, modify the data? Okay, let's say here what will happen. We have currently eight students. Now in future, let's say two more students came to the, our class. We need to add their age, age also, right? So while adding, how costly the aid operation is. Let's say we have eight students and one student is going to the different class or one student is going to the different school. So we need to remove the data of that student. So how that deletion of data, how costly that operation is. So these all things we need to understand and based on that, we will choose which data structure I need to use. That is about the basic of the data structure. I hope it is clear. Now, what are the types of data structure? As you can see, there are two types of data structure. One is primitive, one is non-primitive. So what is primitive? Let us understand. So primitive data structure is nothing but, uh, so primitive has, let's say you can see the type here. So we have, let's say age. Age is nothing but the integer. Let's say five year old, 10 year old, 12 year old. So integer, right? We can have float. Float is, is, is basically nothing but the double float we have, right? Decimal numbers. Then we have the characters. Then we have the Boolean values. Boolean is nothing but true and false. Character is nothing but A, B, C, up to J we can have, right? This is all about the primitive. When we talk about the non-primitive data structure. So non-primitive data structure is broadly uh, divided into two categories. One is linear, one is non-linear. So in the, linear, in the linear data structure, what it means? So linear data structure is nothing but if we are storing the data into one dimensional, into 1D form, that is known as the 
linear data. All right. If we are storing the data into multi-dimensional, that is known as the non-linear data. So examples of the linear data structure are nothing but array, stack, queue, and linked list. Examples of the non-linear data structure is nothing but the tree, graph, and try is also one of the category of the tree. Hash table is one of the uh, data structure. So this is the ma major division you can see or the hierarchy of data structure types you can say, right? It will be very helpful for you in the future if you are clear about this diagram. I hope it is clear. Let's quickly jump to the next part. What to prepare now? So you know what is data structure? you know what, what are the types of data structure. Now from this list, okay? So no need to prepare anything from the primitive because they are just the type of the data. Now we need to start from the linear data structure and in the linear, first of all, you need to start with the array, array data structure. Now, what are the thing I need to start in the array? So for each data structure here, we will, discuss about the basic operations, okay? So you need to understand how to insert any element into the array, okay? Second operation is, is about deletion, how to delete element from the array and how to update particular element value in the array, all right? And next is search. So how to search element in the array, okay? Let's say you want to search a particular key, if that key is present in the array or not, that is the search operation. So you need to, first thing you need, what, what you need to do, we will discuss about the array and how these four basic operations are working in the array, all right? Now, once you are clear about these four basic operations, then what is the next question which should come to your mind is, which is nothing but, Hey, do we need other data structure then? Let's say we have array, we are, we are able to store the data. So why do we need the other data structure then, right? So this question should come to your mind. What is the problem with the array? So to answer about these two, two questions, you need to understand the time complexity of all these four basic operations, which we have discussed. One is insertion in the array, deletion, updation, and the search. So insert is how to ins how much time insert operation will take. Let's say what I told, we have class data. In the class, we have age of all the student. Now you want to, uh, now in your class, one new student came and you want to insert that new student as, as well. So how much time that operation will take? That will take off and now, similarly, how, okay, let's say one student is going to the different school, you need to delete. How much time deletion will take? It will also take off N. So why it is taking off N here? Because we need to shift the array elements. For example, what I'm saying is, let's say we want to insert one more age. So we need to traverse to the last, or you will insert. So traversing the full array is nothing but the of N, right? That is all about the insertion. Similarly, whenever you want to delete, you need to shift all the elements and update. In case of array, update is the very cheap and it, it will take simply constant time. Because how? So how to update, let's say I want to update the age of second student. So instead of that, what I will do? Array of index one, just update with the new age. That will be cost that so that operation is very cheap and it will be constant time. Now for searching in the array, you need to traverse the full array, and that is and and that is the reason your search operation will take off and track. So once you are clear with these four operations in the array, all right. Now you need to write down the code. Just understand it. How we are saying. How we are. How we are doing the insert, delete, update, search, how much time they are taking. You need to understand these things. That is the first basic prerequisites if you want to master the data structure. Well, all right. So once we are done with the array basic operations, we will jump to the linked list. Now, once we are moving to the linked list, what are the things which we need to consider? 
So just like array, in case of linked list also, we will solve, we will understand basic four operations like insert, or insert, delete, update, and the search. So you need to uh, you need to understand all basic four operations in case of linked list also. Once that part is done, that means we are aware of the basic operations in case of array and in case of linked list. Then what you need to do? You need to do the comparison between both. Means which operation is costly in case of array, which operation is costly in case of linked list. Once you are clear on that part, that means we can decide, hey, if this is the requirement, use the array. If this is the requirement, use the linked list. That is the so part which we need to compare. And based on the comparison, we can figure out which one to use where. Right? Now, once you are done with the linked list part, then you need to solve the basic operations from stack, from queue, from tree, and from graph. So for all the data structure, you need to understand the basic operations, right? Once that is done, what you need to do? You need to start solving the questions. Now you will say, hey, for these basic operations, from where I should learn, right? So you want some platform where you can go and you can use that. So I have two platforms for you. The, these are the two platforms which I found they are good. There are a lot of platforms apart from these two also. So the first one I will say, go to the gigs for gigs, okay? And uh, here, what you will see, there is one section for data structures. Once you will click on the data structure, you will see the different, different data structure here, all right? Now, what I was saying, first of all, we will go to the array. Once you will open the array, you will see there are basic thing about the array, which is nothing but introduction. So in this we in this particular introduction part you can uh, you can understand how to insert element into the array how to delete how to update how to search and based on the your language whatever language you want you can pick the video you can pick the that particular topic from out of these four or five and you are good to go about the array basics Right. Once you are done with the basics, what you need to do, you need to start solving the questions from array. Now, questions will be of different different categories like array rotations, searching, sorting, and the right so range query. These will be different different categories. But first of all, you need to understand the basics of the array, and then for solving the questions from each category, you can refer my video. In my video, I have discussed the questions from this topic only, all right? So just check out my channel and you will see the questions as part of the data structure series. There are a lot of questions I have solved from any topic, which have the questions from searching sorting, which are the question from rotations, which are the question from metrics, lot of things you will see, right? Once you are done with the array, then you need to jump to the linked list. I would say once you will come to the linked list, First of all, you need to understand the singly linked list, okay? Once you are good in the singly linked list, then you can jump to the circular and the doubly linked list. In case of singly linked list, you can pick the 10 questions from here. So these 10 questions are nothing but, this is all about what is linked list. What is the difference between linked list and array? How to insert element into the linked list? How to delete element from the linked list, all right? How to delete the complete linked list? and how to find the length, how to search element into the linked list. So these are the basic operations. If you will see these 10 questions are nothing but they are very easy and they are the basic of the linked list which you need to solve. Once you are done with that, you can jump to the stack. You can jump to the stack and you can jump to the queue. And from here also, you can pick the basic questions like what is the, how to implement the stack, all right? And uh, this is, so first of all, you can pick the questions from introduction part. And, and next you can pick the questions from the introduction of Q as well. All right, these are the introduction to Q. Once you are done with the introduction part, for solving the questions in this track, I have picked five important questions, which, were, which are very famous for the interview. You can check out my channel for those questions. And similarly, in the future, I will be uploading videos on the Q interview questions as well. Now, similarly, you need to jump to the three, three basic questions, BST basic questions. BST is, is nothing but the one of the 
type of the tree. Okay, then you can jump to the graph. So, the, so these are the basic thing which you need to prepare. All right. Now, apart from these, this uh, gigs for gigs, there is one more link I want to share, which is uh, your hackerrank.com. Once you will open the hackerrank.com, this is the home page. Here, just click on the practice. Once you will click on the practice, you will see one tape for the data structure. Once you will come down, you will see one option for the data structure. Just click on this one. Now, since we are completely beginners, so you can select the basic problem solving for the basic, all right? Once you, you will check this box, you need to select easy because you are a beginner. Once you will, you will choose the easy, you can pick the questions from array. So just check the array, you will see three, four questions, just solve them, then just pick the questions from linked list, solve them, just pick the question from tree, stack and queue. So this way you will be, you will get some easy questions which are good to go. For example, this is the question, left rotation. I have covered the questions on the array rotation in my videos, you can check out those as well. I have explained multiple solutions for the same problem from basic level to the expert level you can see. All right, so this is all about the preparation part. Now, if you have, if you feel something is not clear, you want me to cover, so please comment out. In the future video, I will be, I will be solving more questions. I will be uploading videos on the questions which are very important for the interviews. All right, if you feel, let's say some topic is not clear in, in case of array, in case of linked list, in case of tree, you want to understand the how things are working, please comment out. I will be more than happy to upload that part and I will help you guys to master the data structure algorithms. All right, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you everyone.